Hello and welcome to the first Barvember problem, bar modelling problem of the year. I've done something quite unusual with this one because um, each day White Rose Maths publishes five questions from level one, very easy, through to the challenge level five. And normally my videos are about the questions at level five. But this level three question really piqued my interest. Firstly, I thought it was quite a tricky question for, um, for level three. And having solved it, when I looked at the suggested solution offered by White Rose Maths, I noticed that my way of solving it was quite different, which also well highlighted two things. One, that all of our bar models can look very different. We have to draw what we see and to make it make sense to us. But also that it can be really difficult. It's actually the reason why I do these videos. It can be really difficult to look at somebody else's solution, their finished final solution, um, which tends to be what you find published in a textbook or something like that. And see all of the steps that it took to get to that final solution, even if the calculations are set out. So that's why I am starting here and I hope you find it helpful. Okay, so to the question, 535 people are asked what their favourite fruit is. 50 more people like apples than oranges. Half as many people like pears as apples. And we're asked how many people said their favourite fruit is oranges. OK, so we're going to use a comparison model. We're saying things like 50 more and something less and all of that sort of thing. So we're going to we're comparing um, quantities. So here's a bar for apples. And as ever, my terrible drawing, but this is I'm going to draw this to represent apples. OK, and I am going to draw a bar for oranges. Now I'm going to start off just to, um, because I think it will help the explanation, by drawing the model for oranges the same as the model for apples, except for this one's drawn slightly better. Ignore this bit. Okay, so this is the same value as this at the moment. But what we're told is 50 more people like apples than oranges. So I'm going to draw an extra section here Okay, and I don't know how big it is in relation to this. And this has a value of 50. Okay, otherwise, so if we, if we didn't have this 50 here, these two would have the same value. But apples, there are 50 more. Okay, or 50 more people liking apples. Right. That's that bit taken care of. Let's have a look at the next bit. Half as many people like pears as apples. Okay, so here's another bar. And half as many people like pears as apples. So if we look at apples, what have we got? We've got this part here. And we've got this bit that's 50. So what's half of this part here? Well, if I divide this in half, and while I'm at it, because I've, div I've divided, you know, remember, these two are equal, I'm going to divide this in half, then half of this is this. So there we go. That's um, that's half of that. And then I want half of the 50. So I'm going to do a sliver of 25. Okay. So now what have I got? Well, I have, I split this, these parts into two. So these are now my new parts. So I have one, two, three, four, five equal parts, okay, and a quantity of 50 and one of 25. And I know that all of them together equal 535, 535. So I've included that bit of information, I've included that bit of information. So where does that get me? Well, in bar models, I always want to be able to attribute a value to um, something that I can divide into parts, into equal parts. That's always really helpful. So I can see that if I took away this 50, if I didn't have this 50 and this 25, I would just have these five equal parts. So if I subtract, so that's 50 plus 25 is 75. If I subtract 75 
from 535, that gives me 460. And then if I divide 460, okay, I'm going to divide that by 5, that gives me 92. So I now know that each of these parts has a value of 92. Okay, so can I, I mean, I've got lots of numbers here now. I, I think I ought to be able to um, find my solution. So how many people said their favorite fruit is oranges? Well, that's this bit here, oranges. And oranges is 92 times 2, which is 184. Okay, so my final answer is 184. Okay, um, I hope that made sense to you. That's what made sense to me. That's how I approached it. But as I said, when I looked at the solution from White Rose Maths, they did something quite different. Okay, this is their solution. So 535 people are asked what their fruit is, favorite fruit is. It's the same question, 50 more like apples and oranges, half as many like pears as apples. It's the same question, but it looks quite different. And these calculations look quite different. So how, how have they come to this? Okay, so this is where I will show you. Or this is what I think they did. Okay, so again, we're going to start with apples. And we're going to draw a bar for apples, okay? And then we need to draw a bar for oranges. And what did they say? That 50 more people like apples than oranges. Ah, okay. So, and what they've what they've done is they draw a bar for oranges, okay? And that's going to be smaller than the bar for apples, okay? And the difference, the difference here is 50, okay? Then let's have a look at pears. We've got the pears. What are we told about pears? Well, half as many people like pears as apples. Well, if we split apples in half, okay, now we've split apples in half. Let's give one of these parts or the same size part to pears. Okay. So this part has an equal value to this part and to this part. Okay. And also, if we think about it, if oranges had had this an extra 50, if there'd been an extra 50 people in our in our survey. Um, in addition to this 535, saying that they, they liked oranges, then oranges would have been um, equal to these two parts here. So if we think about it, we can, we've got one part here, all right? And if we added 50, we would have one part here, which would give us one, two, three, four, five parts. So let's draw this then. So if we have 535 plus 50, okay, we are, this would give us the 585. And that's when we're going to include, I'm going to draw this in, we're going to include this 50. So where does that leave us? Well, we now have a value for all of the equal parts without any extra bits. So if we divide 585 by 5, we're going to get a value for, for each of those. So if we divide 585 by 5, um, that's what they've done here, we get 117. So this is 117, this is 117, 117, this is also 117, that all together, and this is 118. 17. Okay. And this is what you have drawn here. All right. So this is the actual 
you know, obviously mine looks a bit different, not quite as pretty, um, but that is what you have drawn here. If we go back to the question, how many people said their favorite fruit is oranges? Well, we're back to here. Okay, now remember that, I mean, it looks like we've got 117 times two, but remember that this 50 doesn't actually exist in the original survey. So this is where we have 117 times two gives us 234. So we have that 234 is the value of those twos. It's the value of the apples, for example. Okay, but we have to subtract 50 to get to how many people said they liked oranges. So 234, um, we take 50 away and we get 184, which is the same answer that I got, of course. It just looks different. I'll see if I can go back to that original one. There we go. So it just looks different. It's the same answer. It, it just looks different. Okay. And both of them, I think both of them are perfectly good. Um, I'll obviously prefer mine. I'm sure lots of people will prefer white rose maths and they'll also prefer that I didn't um, keep using different terminology, subtract, minus and all the rest of it. Apologies for that too. Um, but I do hope this has been he helpful and I hope it highlights um, firstly how you need to, to draw it the way you see it and also um, why you might struggle to figure out what's going on in a published solution.